His, if you look at this chart, how many of you see anything in here? It's remarkable. Anybody see? Yes, honey. Right. Which shows that he's kind and loving because that's Good for the, you. The, uh, the other relationships and that explains why he's such a giver. Wow, look at that. That is wonderful. Now, that's reading that chart. That describes him perfectly. That's the kind of stuff I want to see. Um, it's also, you know, he's very, yeah, he's compassionate. Pisces is a compassionate sign. That's a water sign, emotional. Um, and. Uh, there's something else that's real remarkable in this chart too. First of all, he's what? What's a sun sign? Huh? Everybody. Aries. Aries. Sun and Aries. See, gotta learn these symbols, honey. Gotta get them. Sun and Aries. Okay. Now, what's the most powerful planet in this chart? What would you say? Huh? Loud, loud. Speak up. Speak up. Did you say Mars? Good for you. Well, this is this. I don't use this, but you're very observant. That's exactly what it is, a grand trine. If you use this, I don't. Okay, um, but that's 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 quite remarkable that you got that. I don't use Chiron, or Chir Chiron, either. Chiron. I don't use it, but everybody has their own way. I, it, if you put that in there, it'd be a grand trine. And the, what amazes me is Julie saw that. You know why? Who said you saw that, right, Julie? You know what's amazing to me that you saw that? Why it's amazing? This is an out of out of um, sign. It's not. In other words, the next sign after Taurus is Gemini. So this is the very end. It's 27 degrees. So it's only three degrees from being in the, the next sign, which is Gemini. I would normally pick it up very quick. Most people that have done astrology would know if it was all air signs. That's got to be trine trine, Libra, Gemini. But she picked it up as an out of sign trine, which is interesting, because it's in Taurus and this is in Libra. Most people wouldn't have caught that unless they've got some astrological know-how. You write it? Do you see what I'm getting at? Ah, took you a while. Saturn. That's what I went for. No, I had it. I was you waiting for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> else to get it. That's what I wanted to hear. That's what yeah. I wanted to hear. To me, when I saw that... And it's angular. Yeah, you know... And, and, you know, and let me ask you a question. How many of you know where transit Saturn is right now in the heavens? What degree? 29 Scorpio. Oh, 29 Scorpio. Good, good, good. Okay, good, good. Now, when you start doing astrology, you're going to know that all the time. Because, you know, it doesn't move that fast. It's always going to be, it tends to retrograde, go forward, retrograde back, you know. But 29 Scorpio, put that in that chart. I want you to do this. Here, we're going to do this together. Okay. Okay. By the way, I'm going to take on another tutored student. I'm finishing off one. Uh, uh, that's a 10-week private tutor class. I'm going to start another one. I only take three at a time. And uh, you're going to take the tutor class? Okay. Um, so that's that's. Uh, we'll get you signed up today. The thing is, here's the thing. I want you to really pay attention to this because this is what we're dealing with in this chart. We're dealing with Pluto right here. I wish Sylvester was here. He would enjoy this. He, he's the type of guy that would uh, help us out. So we got roughly about um, Saturn, about 21 Scorpio. Now, it's real important what I'm going to show you now. Mars is at 27 Taurus. Okay. That's Mars. Now, that's called a cross. Now, when I did the chart, I did the progressions and I did the new moon. Okay, and uh, how many of you have got a program to do charts yet? Every, who, who doesn't? One, two, three, four do have. I want you to, oh, you don't? Well, but, 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 it won't do progressions probably. Well, yeah, but separately, well, it can do it. 